they, they have people that they don't know at their doorbell. They usually have a child with them. They have their telephone, their iPhone, and on it, it says in English, I'm a migrant from Floyd Bennett Field. Please give me money. And they are, it's very, very concerning because at times they find them on their property. Could curfews be coming to migrant shelters in the city? The mayor's office says it's something they're considering. Almost 70,000 migrants are in the city's care at this moment. And like you said, some are staying here at the Rowe Hotel, others at hurt sites across the city like Floyd Bennett Field. But now the city is considering a curfew, a curfew that is already in place for traditional homeless services shelters across the city. Now, this idea of implementing a curfew at migrant shelters was brought up at a closed door meeting today with city officials who were discussing the migrant crisis. It was Queens Councilwoman Joanne Ariola who asked why the migrants aren't subject to a curfew. All DHS shelters have a curfew of 9 p.m. for families with children and 10 p.m. for adults. She tells Fox 5 the reason she wants to see the implementing. All right, Shalom, I'm giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that told me this truth that real well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Payan, as you saw in this um, short news uh, clip, right, over in um, New York. They're speaking about, you know, considering curfews for the migrants, um, the shelters, after, you know, migrants beg residents for money at night and, you know, people already in uh, America, Babylon, are great complaints about them coming by the boatloads, you know, taking up um, resources and shelters and you got a lot of gangs coming out of them, them, them migrants, you know, um, hey, those are, those that are in the know understand how they can be troops, UN troops. Um, people like parents are complaining that, you know, their kids can't go to school because they're using their schools for, to shelter them. Um, people here complaining, you know, regular citizens here complaining about how they're taking their jobs and things of that nature, right? And it's, it's, it's causing conflict. It's causing division and it gives a reason for them to use this excuse to bring curfew. Because that's going to be for everyone. They're speaking about DHS um, shelters, shelters, which is the Department of Homeland Security, you know? And so this could cause From um, civil unrest, you know, for the lack. Because they, they, you know, they're, they're asking for food. They ask for th things like that. They're coming over here with no jobs. So it's causing more conflict. And, um, real quick, this is a article, right, my, my uh, crisis, they're saying, shelter curfews, and they try to do that during 2020, you know, let's see how people would adjust to that, you know, curfews, and, you know, citizens will, will, will agree to it. For the sake of safety and things of that nature. Right? You see? But it's only things are going to get intense. Just because now with the war, the conflict that's going on with, with Iran. Iran attacked one of the, um, one of the, what you call that? The U.S. The, the, the. U.S. Uh, tankers, it says at least six new oil tankers diverted away from the southern Red Sea after a, 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 a Houthi ballistic missile hit another U.S. container ship. Oil prices in the U.S. may skyrocket in a few hours. This was earlier today. We're in um, January 16th, 2024, if I'm not mistaken. The 15th, rather. And, um, yeah, so curfew in a, in a major city like that, 
The, the idea of implementing a curfew was brought up at a closed-door meeting Thursday night with city officials who were discussing the crisis. So, say people, you know, disobey the curfew. What's going to happen? There's going to be fines. There's going to be any, you know, camps they're going to send you to. See, so things that, things will lead to other things. All right? And... Just wait till food and things like that skyrocket. You know? That's going to cause even more um, conflict. As a matter of fact, let's get... I want to get um, real quick in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter... What was it? 14 and... Isaiah chapter 19. Let's start at verse 2. It says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, and it's heavy because they just put the new Purge uh, movies back up in Netflix, you know, the election one, and we in that time, you know, so the Lord is the one that's causing this conflict um, amongst citizens and so-called, you know, migrants in, in, within these cities, and that's going to cause what? It could cause civil, because civil unrest is going to happen. Egyptians against the Egyptians. Right? People that are residing in these in these cities and these lands. You know? Matter of fact, let's get on. Um, and that's because Yahweh spoke of divisions. You know? So if a house be divided against itself, it's not gonna stand. You know, just like when there was um those type of riots, civil unrest in these ancient kingdoms. You know, imagine how it's going to be now. You know, Second Esdras, chapter fifteen. Let's start at verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Look at the movie Bushwick. You know. Movies like that, pre predictive programming, all right? For there shall be sedition among men. No, slack here. Yeah, with swords in their hand, you know, the destruction drove nine, that's that's coming. It says in swords in their hands, people are going to, you know, fight for their lives, fight for their, their whatever, their jobs to stay open, their, their, their homes, because it's going to be invaded because of the lack of bread, because of the famine. You know, things about to skyrocket as well. That's going to be more pressure upon people. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because it's, it's, things are going to uh, going to get locked down. For because of their pride. The city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. We, we're heading to a time of trouble, Jacob's troubles, right? Referring to Jacob, you know, the forefathers of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, Jacob's troubles, Jeremiah 30, which is evil times that people are about to experience, judgment, lamentations, mournings, and woes is coming, man. That's why you got to watch. And, and understand, you know, why all these prophetic events and what it's leading up to, right? And uh, it says, For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil you their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, and that's what's coming, great tribulation, you know, 
So this place is crumbling from the inside out. You're hearing of these things, wars and rumors of wars, you know? So when things skyrocket, expect for banks to, to, to uh, 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 collapse as well, you know? So, hey, we're experiencing uh, events leading up to the, the beginning. Well, we, we're basically in the beginning of sorrows. Um, things are going to get worse because, you know, where are you going to shelter these people? Where are you going to, right? And if you think about it, why do you think they have these different quarantine camps and things of that nature? You see? So, um, all D DHS, Department of Homeland Security shelters, have a curfew of 9 p.m. for families with children and 10 p.m. for adults. So, you got to think too, huh? you know, people are going to go homeless, you know, no, no, no jobs, no this, no that. But they're going to have, the, these elites, the, the government is going to have it to where... You're not going to be able to have any of these resources unless you have that digital device inside you. That's what it's coming down to. These things is, 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 is designed for full control. Pressure from above, pressure from below. Right? And this is how they look, you know? The shelters for the, uh, Homeland Security. Look at this. You know? A lot of those are jakes, man. You know? A lot of them are jakes. So, go figure. You know, this is a, a fucking prison. A gym. You know? And that's why they have in the, these different places to basically shelter in. Right? Gyms, stadiums, you know? So, and then when there's a, 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 a civil unrest and people are going crazy because they don't have X, Y, and Z, they're going to turn on each other. And when people turn on each other, that's going to bring these trucks around, UN troops. Martial law. So, understand things are things. It's not. It's not sweet. It's about to get ugly. So anyway, with that out, this was edifying. Straight to the point. Quick update. Prophecy. Till next time, I'm gonna say shalom.